Love Encounter broadcast. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being with me today. Those of you that are watching and those of you that are listening, may God richly bless you. This is powerful teaching. You cannot listen to the things I'm teaching and you stay the same. They will transform you for the rest of your life. We've had exciting days. We've looked at so much in the last few days. Now, the last two days, we have looked at the methodologies of healing. And we said so many people have not experienced the power of healing. They have not experienced healing because they have treated the subject of healing in a very general way. They have treated the scriptures and the verses of healing in a general manner. And yet, healing has methods. Healing has streams. We looked at two streams or two methods. One being the prayer of faith. The prayer of faith is a stream of healing. Prayer is a stream of healing. So you need to learn, you need to learn to tap into these streams. You, be, you need to learn to use this, these methods for you to experience quick healing, quick results. Praise God. So prayer of faith is a stream of healing. We looked at the second stream or the second method, ministering under the anointing of healing. Ministering under the anointing of healing healing. So we are still looking at the first one. We've been looking at prayer for the last two days and this is the third day of uh, looking at prayer, uh, the prayer of faith. The prayer of faith is a stream of healing and we are learning how to tap into it and how to use this method. And next week we shall go ahead and look at ministering under the anointing of healing. Let us go back to James chapter 5, and we read uh, verse 13 up to verse 16. The Bible says, is anyone among you suffering? Is anyone among you suffering? Let him pray. Is anyone cheerful? Let him sing psalms. Is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church, and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith will save, in other words, will heal the sick. And the Lord will raise him up. If he, and if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. The Bible says, confess your trespasses to one another, and pray for one another that you may be healed. The effective, fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. So the Bible has said in verse 13, is anyone among you suffering? Let him pray. You can pray for yourself. You can tap into the healing stream of prayer, of, of, of healing, uh, the, the, the prayer of faith, you can tap into this stream of healing prayer, the prayer of faith, by yourself. You don't have to travel miles. You don't have to travel hours looking for the prophet or looking for the pastor or going to your church in order for you to be healed. You can get healed in your house. This is why this uh, teaching is so important because it empowers ordinary people, ordinary believers to minister to others and minister to themselves. So if you're sick, the Bible says pray for yourself. You can pray for yourself. But we said, if your faith is not at that level or you've never heard about anything like this, praying for yourself, you've never heard about it, praying for yourself or ministering to yourself, this is your first time hearing something like this, praying for yourself or ministering healing to yourself. Then the Bible says you can call the elders. 
Is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. If you can't pray for yourself, for the reasons I have mentioned, I expect you now to pray for yourself because I'm teaching you, I'm empowering you. But in case this is your first time to hear something like this, you've never heard about something like praying for yourself, ministering, healing to yourself, then the Bible says in verse 14, call the elders. They will pray for you, they will anoint you, and they, you will be healed. And the prayer of faith will save the sick, and the Lord will raise him up, and if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. 16 says, confess your trespasses to one another and pray for one another. Now, verse 16 says, ordinary people can also come and pray for you. Ordinary believers. They don't have to be ordained. They don't have to hold a microphone. Ordinary believers. People that have accepted Christ as their Lord and Savior. They can come and pray for you. So if you can't pray for yourself, you can call the elders. If you can't call the elders, if you don't, you know, you, you can't access them, ordinary people can come and lay their hands on you and pray for you. Praise God. But today, I want us to focus on you ministering healing to yourself. You ministering healing to yourself. Now, uh, yesterday, I spoke... Uh, about how I received my healing. And I want to empower you so that you can receive your healing, just like I received my healing. The things I'm teaching are, are not from head knowledge, but from experience. I, I have experienced. The Holy Spirit taught me. I read books. Uh, uh, but I also practiced. I have practiced the things I am teaching. I was sick. I had a bone disease, and the doctors couldn't heal me. They couldn't help me. Medical science couldn't do anything for me. And I remember they came, and the doctors said to me that uh, I had the best doctors, very good people, very good people. They said that uh, I couldn't, I mean, I, uh, they, couldn't, they couldn't help me, so they sent me back home, and they said that I will stay with my disease uh, for the rest of my life. And so they put me on muffin. I was on muffin for years. But I began to pray. I began to minister healing to myself. I began to uh, read every scripture. I wrote down every verse, every scripture that I could come, uh, I, that I could find in the Bible. I, I wrote it down and uh, I began to pray. I began to meditate for 30 days. 30 days. I began to meditate on the word of God. I began to pray a prayer of faith over me every day. I prayed a prayer of faith over myself every day. And I began to meditate. So today I'm going to talk about meditation. Because people have neglected the principle of meditation. It is prayer. Meditation is prayer. Meditation is so powerful. Meditation healed me. I tapped into the stream of healing through meditation. And I received my healing in 30 days. A bone disease, the doctors said, could not be cured. It was incurable. I got healed in 30 days through meditation. I ministered healing to myself. Let us go to James chapter 1, verse 23. The Bible says, for if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man observing his natural face in a mirror. For he observes himself, goes away, and immediately forgets what kind of man he was. But he who looks into the perfect law of liberty and continues in it, and is not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this one will be blessed in what he does. Now, the word of God is a spiritual mirror. The word of God is a spiritual mirror. I have seen people that came for healing in, in some of the meetings I've been to. 
And uh, I just taught the word without praying for them. And they got healed, just listening to the word. And I taught them how to see themselves through the word. And miracles happened in their bodies. So I want, to, I want you to learn the principle of meditation. Meditation on the word of God. And so when I talk about meditation, I'm not talking about uh, uh, fantasy. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about fantasy. Uh, I am talking about meditating in the word of God. Sanctified imagination, sanctified meditation in the word of God. We do not empty ourselves. We fill ourselves with the word of God. That is our kind of meditation. We don't empty ourselves, but we fill ourselves. That's what I did for 30 days. I filled myself with the word of God. I saw myself through the word of God. The word of God became a spiritual mirror through which I saw myself. And I saw Wilberforce without sickness in his body, in his bones. I saw my brand new body. I saw my brand new bones for 31 days, seeing it every day, seeing it every day. By the help of the Holy Spirit, seeing it every day, meditating every day on the word, on, on scriptures, meditating on all healing scriptures, all healing scriptures, I got healed in 30 days. So the Bible has said, for if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man observing his natural face in a mirror, for he observes himself, goes away, and immediately forgets what kind of man he was. When you read the word of God, when you study the word of God, when you go to church, when you hear a teaching, when you hear a teaching like this, and you do not keep that teaching in your heart, and you go away and you forget what the word of God has said, you forget how you look like. Because the word of God teaches you the real you. The word of God shows you who you are, how you look like. So, for you to become what, of, what the word of God is saying, for you to become what the word of God is saying, you must look into the word of God daily. You must meditate on the word of God daily. There are so many people who read the Bible. They practice reading the Bible. They go to church. They hear teachings like this, but they just walk away and forget everything. And they end up being afflicted. But if you keep the word of God in your heart, the meditation of your heart begins to transform your physical body. That's why the Bible has said in verse 25, but he who looks into the perfect law of liberty, looks into. So many people look at, you look at the scriptures. You look at the scriptures. You don't look at scriptures. You look into. Scriptures have a depth. They are deep. You look into. You don't look at. You look into. That is meditation. You ponder. You, you think. Meditation is thinking. Meditation is pondering. Now, meditation is reminding yourself you fill yourself with the word of God. You remind yourself, you ponder, you think about it. You look into, you look into the perfect law of liberty and continue in it continually. You don't do it for one day. You do it every day, continually. And, not, and is not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work. This one will be blessed in what? He does. Now, this is meditation. Looking into the perfect law of liberty. Perfect. Perfect. So, when you're sick, sorry, if you're sick, you, you can write down scriptures, the healing scriptures. Scriptures that lead you to freedom. And you begin to read them. And you begin to look into them. And you see yourself. The word of God is likened to a mirror. The word of God is a mirror that cannot deceive you. It's a mirror that will never deceive you. It is a mirror through which you look and see yourself. 
and you see what Christ has made you to become. And you look at yourself and you see how you look like in the realm of the spirit. For example, the Bible declares that by his stripes, by his stripes, we were healed. By his stripes, we were healed. But you found that a believer who was healed by the stripes of Jesus is still sick. Now, man is created in three. You are a spirit being. Man is a spirit being. You are a spirit being. You live in a body. You possess a soul. You are a spirit being. The Bible says God is the father of spirits. You came from above. You were a spirit before you became human. Now, you are a spirit being living in a physical body. You possess a soul. Scripture says, by his stripes, you were healed. By his stripes, you were healed. The Bible says in uh, 2 Corinthians, and this is, this, this, this is the verse that I meditated upon. And, and this verse did wonders in my life. 2 Corinthians 5, verse 17 says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, old things are become new. Verse 18, And all things are of God, who has reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ, and has given, uh, given to us the ministry of reconciliation. All things are of God. The Bible has said, that therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. If you are in Christ, the moment you accept Christ as your Lord and Savior, you are recreated, you're brand new. You become a new creature. Nothing broken, nothing missing, nothing broken. There is nothing missing in you. You are brand new. Therefore, you have no disease. You have no sickness. You are not poor. Everything is complete. Nothing missing, nothing broken. Now, the person the Bible is talking about is not your body. When you got born again, your body didn't change your mind. Your, the soul is your mind, your intellect, you know, your, 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 your intellect, your mind. You, you, don't, you don't change in, in, how you, in how you think the moment you got, you got born again. That's why the Bible says that, that be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So you renew your mind day by day in the word of God. Your body doesn't change, but your spirit man changes. Immediately you get born again. Your spirit man changes. is transformed, born again. You are born again. You are brand new. Everything is brand new. You are like a baby. So now, the person that got healed is the spirit. Your spirit got healed. He saved you and he healed you of all your diseases and all your infirmities. You are already healed. By his stripes we were healed. Now, the body is through experiencing sickness. Your mind, your soul is being transformed. Now, the more you look in the word of God, your mind, your soul begins to get Enlightened, you begin to get transformed by looking at your spirit man through the scriptures. When you read the scriptures and you meditate, and this is how I did it, I began to look at Wilberforce, the spirit. Brand new man, born again, nothing missing, nothing broken in him. And I began to see transformation. I began to receive transformation in my thinking, in my mind, because the Bible says, as a man thinketh, so is he. So that even changed how I spoke, how I confessed. I began to see myself healed, transformed, completely healed. And what I saw in the spirit began to manifest in my body. That is prayer. Ministering healing to yourself. I began to imagine. I woke up every day. 
And I began to see myself healed. I began to see myself through 2 Corinthians 5, 17. And I saw myself and I said, I am not sick. I am healed. I am not sick. I am healed. I am brand new. I am in Christ Jesus. There's no sickness in Christ. There's no sickness in him. There is no poverty in him. There is no disease in him. So I began to see myself. So you begin to see yourself. You begin to meditate. Meditation. It took me 30 days of meditating, looking at myself, brand new, healed. 30 days I received my healing. So meditation is so powerful. Meditation is so powerful. You can do this by yourself through the word of God. So what you do is you list down every healing scripture and you read it. By his stripes I was healed. And you begin to see yourself through that scripture. I was healed. I am not about to be healed. I am already healed. So you see yourself through the scripture. And the scripture, because the scripture is a perfect mirror, is a spiritual mirror, you see your spirit. You see your spirit man. Because that is the part of you that received healing 2,000 years ago. So when you see yourself healed in the spirit and you continue Continue seeing, and you continue seeing in meditation. You continue meditating. Whatever you see through the word begins to affect your body. And your body begins to receive what you have in the realm of the spirit. That is meditation. So add this to what I told you yesterday. You're going to experience the power of healing in your body. You do this you don't need to look for a prophet. You can access healing as a child of God. Just read the word of God. Stay in the word of God and meditate on the word of God. You are brand new. In your spirit, there's no sickness. In your spirit, there's no deafness. In your spirit, there is no poverty. When you read the verses that, co that, 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 that connect with the issue that you want God to deal with in your life and you begin to see yourself and you begin to meditate on it, it will affect your circumstances. It will affect your body. It will affect your environment. Hallelujah. So now, with all that in mind, I want, I, I want us to agree together and pray a prayer of faith for you and your loved ones to be healed. This is how you're going to do it. See yourself brand new. See yourself healed. Don't pray. I'm going to pray with you. Just see yourself. I want you to use your imagination and begin to see yourself healed, set free, brand new. There's no sickness in your spirit. Father, I want to thank you for that which you have already done on the cross. Everyone watching me and listening, they are healed. They are already healed. Therefore, we command your body to respond to what Christ has already done. In Jesus' name, you are brand new. There is no sickness in you. In Jesus' name, you are free. And your body is responding. Your legs are responding. Your back is responding. In Jesus' name, tumors are living, cancer is living, your body is responding to what Christ has already done. In Jesus' name, amen. Continue meditating on the word of God. Continue seeing yourself set free and healed. Continue seeing yourself prosperous. See yourself. See yourself every day. Meditate on the word of God. If you have never accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior, I want to lead you in prayer so that you can begin to walk and experience the things I have been teaching for these three days. Pray with me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you now. I give my life to you. I believe with my heart and confess with my mouth that you are my Lord 
and my Savior. Thank you for dying for me on the cross. Now, I begin to walk in your finished work. Amen. You're born again. You have received Christ as your Lord and Savior. Please write to us. There are two numbers on your screen. One is a Swedish number. If you are in Europe, you can send us some testimonies and prayer requests. CCI helpline. If you are in Africa, write to us. CCK helpline is on the screen. Give us some testimonies. Tell us what God has done. Give us some testimonies. Send prayer requests. We are here to pray with you and help you. God bless you so much. Remember, Jesus is the Lord of your life. Nothing missing and nothing broken. God bless you. See you tomorrow.